Okay, so for game three, we have six players. Again, H, L, M, S, T, and V. And here we have um, sequencing is our, our main game element. Uh, the sundial is not auctioned on June 1st. So we can add that as close to the board as possible. Keep that in mind. Then we have a conditional rule. If H is earlier than L, then M is earlier than L as well. Um, so if L is earlier than M, then L must be earlier than H. That's our contrapositive. Okay, the sundial is auctioned on an earlier date than the mirror and also earlier than the vase. So just number our rules here. Four, uh, the table is earlier than the harmonica or the table is earlier than the vase. Uh, but not both. So if the table's earlier than the harmonica, it's later than the vase, and if the table is earlier than the vase, it's later than the harmonica. So T has to be between V and H. Okay, question 12. We'll do process of elimination, just finding the rule breakers. So um, D, we can eliminate based on rule 1. Rule 2, um, so L should be um, on one side of H and M, not between them. Okay, so A breaks rule two. S has to be before M and V, so E is out based on rule three. T should be between V and H, so B is out based on rule four. So C is the correct answer. H, S, T, M, L, V. Which one of the following could be true? The table is on the second and the lamp is on the third. So table on the second, lamp on the third. Um, so that's going to, um, so this has to be either H or V, right? Can't be V, so it would have to be H. But if H is before L, M also has to be before L, so A is out. Okay, so I'm doing this one without actually splitting worlds. Um, chances are it's going to take me a little bit longer, but I do want to show that process. All right, um, answer choice B. The sundial is auctioned on the second. Okay, and the vase is auctioned on the third. Um, so S is before V, that's fine. Um, v has to be on one side of T and H, so in this case we would have to have V before T before H. Um, M also has to be over here somewhere, right? So looks like L would have to be first, and then um, H and M are in some order, right? So L before M means L is also before H. That's totally fine. So this one's looking, this one's looking okay. Um, I don't actually see any issue with that. So S isn't first. Um, L is before M, so L is also before H. S is before M and V, and uh, T is between V and H. So B is the correct answer. 14. If the table is auctioned on a date that is later than both the date on which the mirror is auctioned and the date on which the vase is auctioned, then what could be true? So table later than mirror um, and also later than the vase. Okay, so S is before both of these. If the table is later than the vase, then um, the harmonica is later than the table, according to rule four. Um, and S can't be first, so the lamp actually has to be first. Um, so we're dealing with actually a very similar situation to uh, what we have in question 13. Um, so L is first, then S, um, and then we have M and V and VTH. So really the only difference between uh, the acceptable solution for 13 and um, for 14 is the position of M. Um, so what could be true? Could the mirror be auctioned earlier than the vase? And yes, it could be. So D is the correct answer. 15. Which one of the following cannot be the antique auctioned on the day immediately preceding the day on which the vase is auctioned? 
So um, it could be S, it could be M, um, all right? And it could be L. So we've already got a lot that we can eliminate based on the acceptable solutions that we've created. Um, so the day right before the vase could be L, therefore B is out, okay? Um, it could be M, so C is out, could be S, D is out, um, could it be T? Um, so we don't have an example of that. So if we wanted to, we could actually test that one. Um, but if we just look to the rules for V, we can see that um, H can never be immediately before V because if H is before V, T is between H and V. So A is the correct answer. 16, which one of the following could be true? Could it be true that the mirror is auctioned on the second? Nope, because then um, the sundial would be first and that's not allowed. Could it be true that the lamp is auctioned on the second? Um, so the lamp being on the second would mean that which player is first? So S can't be first, but we also know M and V can't be first. We know T can't be first. So the only other player available to be first is H. If H is before L, M should also be before L. So we can eliminate B. C, the vase on the second, not allowed for the same reason that M is not allowed on the second. D, the lamp on the third. Okay, so the lamp being on the third might actually be available because the issue with that was just that we had to have M um, before as well. Ooh, but, okay, so we would have to have H first. Um, and then if we put M second, we don't have enough room for S. So D doesn't work either. Therefore, E must be the correct answer. Okay, and I'll just move on. Question 17 is our last question here. Another global could be true. So could the sundial be auctioned on the fifth? Well, it has two players after it, so no. Could the sundial be auctioned on the fourth? So if the sundial is fourth, then the two players after it have to be M and V. Okay, so L is gonna be before um, M in this case, so it also has to be before H. Looks like L has to be first. Um, then, since V is last, we're dealing with this scenario where H is before T, which is before V. So we would have L, H, T, S, M, V. Um, S isn't first if H is before L, which it isn't. Um, if L is before M, then L is before H. Awesome, we've done that. S is before M and V. And we have H, T, V in order. All right, great. So that makes B the correct answer. So I kind of rushed through this one. Um, it only took me about eight and a half minutes. So um, yeah, I mean, this is one where you could choose to split worlds or not. So actually taking um, about eight and a half, nine minutes for this game, totally, uh, totally a reasonable amount of time for the difficulty of the game. Um, and it's something that, that you probably can do um, without splitting worlds at the beginning. Um, so with most games, there's going to be more than one way to actually get all of the correct answers, right? Um, for a lot of questions, you can choose to do, you know, a method that is essentially a process of elimination, right? Where you're sort of seeking out uh, the wrong answers and eliminating them, or you're just going through the answer choices one by one. Um, you can take a strategy at the beginning saying, oh, okay, I think it's more likely that it's going to be this answer choice for some reason. And so I'm gonna actually try that one first. Um, you can look to the rules initially, right? Um, for, for the players that are involved and uh, be focused on the rules. You can look back to previous solutions. Um, so there are a lot of paths to the correct answer um, and some are going to be more efficient than others, but ultimately, as long as you're very confident in your method, 
um, and you know how it's going to get you to the correct answer, then uh, you're going to be faster and um, you're probably actually going to be able to finish all of the games in 35 minutes. So um, yeah, with like continued practice with any of the methods, um, then, uh, then yeah, you will get faster and, uh, and ultimately be better off. Okay, so um, I'll do game four next.